what up snackies welcome back guys don't forget to like comment and subscribe and share this video y'all what's good what's popping so today i got a little boil you know a little some 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 for y'all i have the tiniest bit of it's one sauce left over and we have us a pineapple waterloo okay Cheers to you guys. Now let's snack. Hopefully my hair don't get in the way. <sighs> Alright, let's dig in. Girl, I still call myself. Was cooked perfect. Got me a little egg egg. <laughs> Y'all, it's Friday. Got no job, no. <laughs> I just toss this in some garlic butter. Buzzing. Mm-hmm. That's the beer from the um what you call it? I was eating a cupcake earlier and it had that metal wrapping <coughs> it cut in a little bit I could feel it that ain't COVID y'all <laughs> Y'all saw that juice card? Mm. It's on the ring light.
This boy, everything. Mm. I done bit down on a piece of the shell part. Boys, I bet y'all can hear that too because I can hear it. And it's mad loud. What, Mike and No Watcher? Um. I forgot what it's called. It's something cartel. Be on Netflix. When the lady took over or something like that. Queens. I don't know, huh? But y'all, we did end up watching Bridgerton. Remember last week when I was asking how much I was watching on Netflix? Mike had decided he was gonna give it a try. And it actually was good, y'all. They filled it with a lot of drama. Y'all hear baby snacks? So, it's so much stuff that I would do um, pre-pregnancy on this channel that, oh my gosh, it has been a struggle to get back into. Um, <clears throat> y'all know I used to read the books and, came and, and come and give y'all book reviews. Mental Health Mondays. Not to mention, I feel like those were the things that
quote unquote made my channel. Oh. Okay. Kind of unique, you know. Recently, I had somebody ask me about grief. Actually, she, um, she's another mukbanger, and her mom passed. So condolences to her. If she's watching this, um. has kind of like seen so much death recently in the last two years with corona um and i would say not even as a therapist because y'all remember when i told y'all i had lost my grandmother back in 2017 and it broke me like oh my gosh it broke me um you just gotta go through it you literally like actually i had three people recently talk to, um reach out to me about death you gotta grieve you gotta go through you gotta talk about it you gotta open up about it um Don't keep that. Don't keep your feelings inside. Don't try to shy away from your feelings, cause that's when you're gonna struggle the most. Um, trying to mask or not deal with it. That's the worst thing you can do. You gotta allow yourself to feel. You gotta let yourself cry. Um, Cause I know sometimes people feel like crying is a weakness. No, crying is a release, a cleanse for your soul. It's so therapeutic to cry. Because again, you're not meant to hold all of that energy in. Mm -mm. So, as we head into the weekend, if you're one of those people that's dealing with grief, Dealing with death that's struggling to grieve, to open up. Reach out to somebody in your support system that you feel comfortable opening up to. Check in and see if they're available to mentally um, take on 
what you need to express and then vent as long as they're willing to hear it you know it's it's you need it you need that change right now you need that release right now and grief doesn't have a time limit i um hmm. it's interesting enough that i this popped up into my head because last weekend i still have my grandmother's cell phone and um I powered it up, charged it up, powered it on, and just to see the wallpaper of her, y'all, I just broke down. And um, that wasn't the intentions of me powering up her cell phone. I was trying to get my brother's old number to unlock his iCloud, whatever. Um, but. In that moment, I allowed myself to just, ooh, excuse me, like a hiccup in a burp. I allowed myself to just grieve in that moment, to just cry, to just let my emotions out. And it's been a minute since I've actually released as far as tears in reference to my grandmother, you know? Um... But it sneaks up on you and when you least expect it. So that's why I say there's no time limit on grief. I do feel like it's something that you're always going to deal with. The pain, the struggle will decrease some. And for some it will decrease a lot. But you'll have those moments when it hits. You know? So that's why I say it's, it's, it's never just resolved. But if you guys want to take anything away from today's mukbang, it will be, it, I want you to take away, get out your feelings, get them out, release them, talk, journal it if you have to, but if you have a person, a support system that you can actually talk to about it, even better. And, and let's, 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 let's process some of these pent up emotions and feelings that that we carry with us um be who you are be beautiful don't forget to take care of yourself because what self-care matters and until the next video go out there and be somebody's peace i love you guys later